nonprofit sector in Canada has so many different dimensions, from the local sized organization to regional, provincial, national, and there's complexity in each of those. They may have boards of directors or committees, advisory councils. You know, you can be a cook or a street outreach worker or a personal support worker to, you know, being a CEO of a very complicated organization with lots of moving parts or be a program director to you know ensure the programs are reflecting the needs of the communities that you're working in so it's uh, there's great diversity and, and I think in the bigger organizations for sure there's there's a way to grow. Today's not-for-profit not is more challenging so ability to work collaboratively with others um, to see the bigger picture to have the vision, strategic plan in mind. It's a lot less of a road traveled with just here's the policies and protocols. It's more about what are the new ideas that can be brought to bear? How can we bring all the sectors to address a key challenge or an issue? Social innovation, I think, is just coming at old problems in new ways. And so our work around the Community Food Center movement is to say, you know, the old school, people stand in line, receive an unhealthy hamper of food and be sent on their way, just wasn't cutting it. I volunteered as a frontline program worker with a neighborhood services agency working with uh, seniors. Uh, I, I sat on the board for another small charity. But the other half of the picture was having that, that foundational knowledge, which is something that um, you can't necessarily get being totally new to the sector if you're just volunteering. Uh, so that was, that was the, the gap that the Chang School program really uh, filled for me. And you know, Over 2 million people are employed in the sector. Uh, over 13 million people are connected as volunteers in the sector. It, it you know, contributes 8 to 10 percent of our GDP. I mean, this is a, a large sector and a very important one that uh, at its best is knitting our country together. If somebody is looking to enter the, this career, or this field, I always say there will always be need for you. The question is um, how much are you willing to give? I've been passionate about nonprofits since I was a university student when I volunteered on campus reading to blind students and then got involved as a volunteer at CNIB. And when I learned that you could create a career out of the sector, that's what I started to do. And I decided to learn more, so I had a bachelor's degree and then I did a nonprofit sector management program at Ryerson. All three of my children have played uh, competitive summer football. So I, of course, volunteered for it. And as a team governor, I became painfully aware of the fact that we had a lot of very talented kids in uh, the Metro Toronto area who could not afford the fees to play football. So my family and I decided to start a charity, to start a, a fund to help these kids play. The reason I came to Chang School was because I realized that the model I had been using for the past five years was non-sustainable. The program is able to draw uh, people from such varied um, organizations and experiences and qualifications and it it was the first time for me that I was in an environment with all of us with the same goal. And I have to say it was the best experience I've ever had in my life. I knew, I thought I knew everything I knew up to this point, but um, I found it uh, with, through these courses. I've learned so many skills from marketing to evaluation of the program to uh, developing a program portfolio. Nonprofits today offer almost a learning laboratory for anyone interested in working in them. You've got the diversity of every generation, you've got skills and expertise coming from different sectors, you've got board members who are often leaders in their companies and in their spheres, and volunteers who bring what their passion is. And together, you're learning as much as you're contributing. The sector is rich and deep and, and transforming our country for the better. And I guess the opportunities, the opportunities are you can change people's lives and create more connected communities. And I see that each and every day. It's what fuels me at work. And it's exciting to be part of something like that.